you had two picks, a strip, and you had a pick last week, so you're, you're kind of a ball hawk. Just, what, what was my kind of game like this in the SEC over and back, back in the home state? Oh, man, it was an amazing feeling. Uh, you know, Coach T. Will let us talk in front of the defense before the uh, on Friday, on Friday nights. You know, just tell them, you know, what we thought about the game and, you know, how to type of stuff, like how we thought about dominating Two the game. Picks. Four struggles. Yes, sir. <laughs> Bad in the bottom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Travis, like you all, uh, like, like you and mm -hmm. – Like some of the starters, let us some of the starters talk in front of the defense. And, you know, my thing was just – Coming back home, and you know Auburn didn't offer me out of high school, so it was right. it was kind of personal for me to you know come in here and get the win. Why did they not offer you? I don't know what they was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're thinking about it today. And then Junior, what would you what do you think about his game right here? No, the defense played amazing. He played tremendous, but uh, you know. I kind of knew this coming from the summer, you know, I just seen the way he worked. I mean, I tried to be the first guy there and him and his brother were already in the indoor doing some type of drills. And it's just like, they were always working. And uh, I think it showed today, man, you got two picks and yeah. a forced fumble, like hard work really does pay off. And, uh, you know, he worked his tail off all off season and it's starting to show and people are starting to see. Yeah, that's, that's 75 yard drive to pretty much give you guys and shut them out. What, what did that, what did that mean? Man, that was huge. Uh, we were struggling through a lot of the game. Uh, we couldn't really find our groove. And uh, I feel like we've been, you know, in practices and kind of the scrimmages in the spring, we struggled on finishing games and finishing drives. And to kind of see us go out there, and I think it was all runs. It, it felt like all runs. And for us to do that, man, that's an extreme confidence boost for us going into other games now. And it shows, like, you know what, like, regardless, first, second, third, or fourth quarter, Wherever we're at, however it's going, you know, we're going to stick together and we're going to fight through this together. I don't know if you've seen the replay, but on that touchdown to Quinn, and it looked like he just barely got it over. What do you think about how hard he runs? You know, the other back might wouldn't have got that. Man, I, we have a lot of hard running backs. I mean, I think Braylon, if Braylon had that ball, if, even if Ronnie had that, I think they're doing the same thing. But the thing with uh, Jaquindon, he's just a massive human being. And the way he just – he puts his mind to something and just kind of his his poise through that whole game and the way that he just kind of united the old line in that fourth quarter, you know, it, it helped us get to that point where he got the ball at the end and he won us the game. Fernando, earlier in the week you said their hurt was my hurt. We're talking about the – loss last year so what was it like being in that locker room so that was so sweet I mean I've had I've had some tremendous experiences with this team and this brotherhood but nothing felt like it did 30 minutes ago in there that was it was special and like you know that's what you live for you live for those moments where you grind it out with your brothers the defense makes stops the offense goes out there and does their thing and then after the game you all go in there and celebrate and uh that's something I'll remember for the rest of my life you were in the locker room this year when you guys didn't have that feeling. What was this one like? Oh, uh, you know, we just talked about it and we wasn't gonna have that feeling in our mouth no more. We came in with a chip on our shoulder. Uh, we all had the right mindset to just go in and after the locker room. I mean, after the game, you know, we was gonna go in the locker room and celebrate, and then that's what we did. So. Hey, DJ, would you mind describing each turnover kind of from your, from your perspective? I know I might take a little time, <laughs> <laughs> but the, the picks and then the strip. I thought that running back might score, man. You mm -hmm. got down there and stripped it. And just, you might just go through each play. Yeah, so the first one, uh, you know, I tipped it. Nico had caught the pick. And then um, second one, I dove for it. And I was, you know, in Coach Pippen here. And I, I really appreciate Coach Pippen for that, you know, challenging the play. And uh, I was really in the ref's ear, like, yeah, I caught it. He's like, yeah, I told him you caught it, so you, yeah, I got the ball. I was like, all right, bet. Then uh, the third pick, JJ got a pick. Then uh, the fourth one, uh, I caught it. Uh, I think he overthrew it or something like that, and I just I was there to make the play. And then for the the fumble, first fumble, that was really a big play for me because um, just the stuff we work in practice. You know, Coach Wilson always getting on us about tracking the near hill. So I, you know, couldn't let him cut back and go score. So I, you know, I had to do what I had to do to get the ball out. Just for both of you guys, what does this do for your confidence as a team moving forward? It gets the ball rolling in the SEC play. You know, you have to get that first one. And it's a week-by-week -week process. And, uh, you know, getting that first one, it's hard. You know, winning in the SEC, I learned today, it's not easy. 
you have to play all four quarters and it's a grin and grind kind of game and they have really good players but uh, getting this first one was huge for us and just kind of the confidence of this team is just rising by the minute. PJ, uh, first drive is when you got the tip mm -hmm. on the reception. How important was it early to kind of uh, throw off their quarterback some? Oh, uh, you know, they had a guy that had his first career start uh, last week. And, you know, we just wanted to put pressure on him, you know, make him play quarterback. You know, if anybody was going to beat us on the field, it had to be him. We were going to shut everybody else down. We had to make him play. And, you know, we just did what we had to do. And then, Fernando, we talk about the third and 19 play that Isaiah caught the touchdown. Uh, just what do you remember about that play? Uh, to be honest with you, I didn't even realize it was third and 19. That's pretty wild. But, uh, <laughs> Uh, when Taylor rolls out that pocket, man, you know something special is going to happen. And when that ball was in the air, it's like, man, who's he throwing that to? And then you just see Satania just running. And when he went up and jumped and got it, I was just like, man, thank God. Thank God. It was it, at that point, we were kind of in that like little rut and we weren't able to move the ball as well. And, uh, you know, you just need your star players to make plays. And uh, that's exactly what both of them did. They, they made a play and that just ignited our team for the rest of the game. You know, PJ, between that, I forgot about the, the tips. I'm glad you remembered it. The two picks, a forced fumble, strip, uh, and a tip. So you really had a hand, literally, in four turnovers. Yeah. I mean, you ever had a game like that? High school, Pee Wee, anything? Um, no, I don't think I ever had two picks in one game. Uh, I did in the scrimmage. Oh, <laughs> <never scrimmage. laughs> yeah, I, every other game has been either one or the other. So. How many family and friends did you have today? Uh, at the end? I had about 10, 15, hmm. maybe 20, something like that. Was that pretty cool to do that yeah. in front of them? You know, first three. Yeah. What, what was that like? It was just amazing, though, them being able to come support me and my brother. I know that's big for my family. Uh, even last year, we played Alabama. Uh, I had an old Miss, I had the same amount of people come. So. And, and then, yeah, this one turned out better, though. And then, uh, you know, we all know this big storyline this week for me anyway, Travis Williams coming back to Auburn. Um, how how cool was that for y'all to be able to, you know, get him a game ball and a mm -hmm. big win at a place that means a lot to him? Yeah, you know, stuff like that, you know, with a coach, we, you know, we love our coach. So you know, we had to come in here and make a statement. And we just wanted to go in there and get the win for him. So I, I know it means a lot to him, you know, him just having a baby girl and, uh, him coming back to a play, his alma mater where he played at, uh, I know he wanted to come in and get this win. So uh, we all just came together and like, we got to do this for him. And that's what we did. And we hear it all the time, Jerry Taylor, our place to play. In y'all's opinion, how was how is it? I mean, it was, it was pretty loud. I don't know about you, but yeah, no. For the offense, it, it was good for us. It was good to start off with one of those games where it's really loud and uh, we had to communicate a lot. I feel like we had a really good week of practice in the way that we handled it in our indoor and, uh, you know, it's hard to kind of replicate it when you get to the game. But uh, I feel like we did a really solid job of communicating and just kind of getting all, all of our calls. Yeah, I knew it was going to be loud. And I was just coming on business here. Every time I came, it was always loud in the stadium. And you know, we didn't let it you know, beat us. So we just embraced the noise. Junior, you, you came in here with San Jose two years ago. Gave over a tough game. I think you were leaving them all at halftime. Mm -hmm. How cool was it two years later after having a tough loss to come in here and, and get some payback? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. It's it's amazing. I actually sent a video to all those guys who I played with back at San Jose in the locker room of us celebrating. Just so just to show, man, like those guys had a huge impact on me. And uh, that game that I played, that was my second ever game playing at tackle. And that's I remember that. I remember it so vividly. And to actually come back here and beat them this time. Uh, it's really cool. Just kind of seeing everything come full circle. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.